In this one, let's define a length uh, z. We'll say uh, z is equal to h int for h, uh, the interfacial, the distance between the interface of the two fluids. And the pressure at z at this distance at this location has got to equal the pressure at this location. Because if we start out with a pressure here, we're coming up the same distance on both sides. And in liquid 2, even though we don't know the densities of these two liquids, the pressures must be the same. And let's call these, uh, we'll call this point 0.3 and point 0.4. And the pressure at point 0.3 is equal to atmospheric pressure plus rho g h in interface. So I come down that distance. And I've used the subscript 1 for the density of liquid 1. And P4 is equal to PATM plus rho 2 g h int. And because P3 is equal to P4, I've got PATM plus rho 1 g h int. And that's equal to P4, P A T M rho 2 g times h int. And the atmospheric pressures cancel out. So does g and h, the distance of the interface, h int. And what I find is that rho 1 is equal to rho 2. So even though they're different fluids, different unknown fluids, we do know because their liquid levels are the same that their densities must be the same. So then we conclude that the pressure at point 1 is rho gh, rho, uh, rho gh, and at pressure 2 is rho 2 gh. And because the two densities are the same, that means that the two pressures must be the same. And here it is mathematically.